Hello, oh, and uh, we're doing this uh, video of our Harry Potter collection, collector's collection. It's uh, September 28th, sorry, what am I talking? September 26th, 2017, and the last video we did about Harry Potter was for oh, our wizard, wizard collection in 2012, five years ago. When it first came out. So now we figure it's time to update you on our collection. It's, it's amassed a huge amount in comparison to just having the yep. collector's edition. Yeah. Yep. Sorry, the wizard's uh, collection, and we'll show that very briefly this time. Now, before we start, <clears throat> it has been quite a while since we made a video. So, yeah. Um, so let's get started. Okay, let's yes. go. Okay, so we'll so we have most of our collection in the dining room. Right over here. So of our humble abode here in, in Oakville, Ontario, Canada. Okay, so these are all of our wands that we have so far. Um, Voldemort, that's the Elder Wand. This Is this uh, Snape's Wand? Um, yes. Yeah, Snape's Wand. This is um, Harry's. Ron's. Ron's. Hermione's. That's Newt, right? Yeah, Newt. that's Newt. Newt. This one is mine that I got at Universal, um, Universal Studios. Studios in Florida. Whoops, it's falling out now. Let's show the, the tags. Yeah, and... So these are from the Noble Collection. Yes, and then these are these are new. We've only had them for a month or so. These are recent. Yep, so Professor McGonagall, Sirius Black, Luna, and Remus Lupin. And then up there is the, the, the Gryffindor, what do you call it? Tapestry. Tapestry, which we got at the studio tour. We got that at the studio tour in London, England? Yep. Okay. Which we've been there three times now. We've been to the studio tour in London, England three times? Yep. Right. 2013, 2016, and 2017. So uh, here's uh, where we keep our Funko Pop collection. Pop-up vinyls. Yep. And I think... Aside from the, the ones that haven't been released at the New York Comic Con, we, we have all of them, don't we? Yes, yes. some more, are still, some more are still coming in the mail, actually, right, right. now. Right. Now, um, here we can show them. You may have to take out, like, show them. Like, yeah, I'm going yeah, to get stuff out. Yeah, yeah so yeah. let's do that. Yeah. So here's the coin collection. Galleons, collection. Galleons, Sickles and Nuts. From and, Green Dots. Yep. And here, whoops. The Deathly Hallows Deathly symbol. Hallows keychain. And Prefect badge. For Gryffindor. That's from Florida. Yep, that's from Florida. There's something else. Do we get that in? Did we get that in February? Harry uh, Potter, no, we the got exhibition. That in, uh, 2011. Did we get this from the um, the yeah, movie? Science Center? Oh, from oh, the Science Center. Yeah. I thought maybe we got it from the movie. I don't remember now. No, it was from the Science Center when it used to be there. <clears throat> There's uh, banners. And I think these are are these bookmarks? Yeah. Gryffindor, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, and Ravenclaw. Here's the top. Oh! Ah, okay, we just had happens. a collision. Yeah. This we is what happens when you take stuff out. You have a collision. <laughs> it's called dominoes. There we go. Let's stand everything back up. Okay, nothing, so nothing these got um, damaged. Let's show. Uh, well, there's the time Hedwig. turner. There's a time turner. Yeah, Hedwig in a cage. Pumpkin here's juice. another. Here's a. Here's a bracelet. Ah, uh, well, well done. I'm doing real well today. Here's the bracelet that has the different symbols on it: the time turner, the Hogwarts crest, the um, Deathly Hallows symbol. And you knocked over Harry again. Yeah, I keep knocking Harry off of there. Um, if I have to pull this out a little bit. Okay, so here's another Hogwarts crust as well as uh, dragon. The the dragon egg from the Triwizard Tournament. And the Goblet of Fire. Yep. 
guess we'll pick Harry up later. Why is there Hunger Games in there? Because <laughs> uh, I had no place else to put it, so it just ended up there. Well, sooner we're going to start taking out other stuff yeah. from here. Okay, so, okay, so these Lego pieces are knockoffs. We got a fan expo. Which we got a fan expo, but we, we knew they were knockoffs. The guy didn't even try and yeah. fool us. When I said to him, these are not real Lego, he said, yeah, they're not. So we knew that going in, and that's okay. If you know that going in, then you don't really mind so much. Is, there some, is this? <clears throat> what's this? I think that's Hunger Games. Is that, no, it's Harry Potter. It's a necklace. Uh, I don't want to knock everything over again since I've done that twice already. Okay, now let's show the... Uh, do you want to show all the puppet miles, like take off each layer or not bother? I'm too short to reach. Okay, so, so let's just do it like this then. Hard to... Anyways... Some of these we had to import. Okay, you yes. hold on to this all. Yeah. Carefully. Yeah, some them of them we had to import because they came from Barnes and Noble, and we don't have any Barnes and Noble in Canada. And other ones were um, exclusive, <laughs> exclusive. To, uh, to Hot Topic, which we we tried to get but couldn't. And yeah, I'm going to cause an avalanche too. Yeah, that's the problem. The minute you start moving them, you get an avalanche. Okay, so or dominoes. Trying to damage these. So you got obviously you can tell who these are. I'll just show them. Just recently got her. And you notice how some of them have bases and some of them don't. Um, they've started to include the bases in some of these. I wish they included bases in all of them to be honest with you. Well, yeah, because they they have such big heads, they tend yeah, to fall over. Yeah, they tend over. to fall over. That yeah. one's new. That that one that you just got, that Luna. Yeah. Yeah. So wasn't she a, a Comic Con exclusive? San Diego, San Diego Comic Con. Yeah, because there's also there's also the uh, the New York the New York one coming out. Snape. And yeah, and they finally decided to come out with Ginny because she she hadn't they didn't make figures of her until recently. And we met uh, the actor who plays Lucius. Yep. Jason Isaacs. Fan we Expo. met him at Fan Expo and we got a picture with him. Yep. He was really, really nice. Super, super, super nice. nice man. Yep. Very, uh, very polite. Very, uh, totally I, opposite to his character. Yeah. I like that he took the time to shake everyone's hands. Mm hmm. You know? Um, the handlers kept trying to rush everyone through, but he didn't let them get away with it and he. He said hello to everyone and shook their hands. It was very nice. And Colin gave him his CD and he said he would listen to it too. In fact, he said, I look forward to listening to it. Now, whether he did or he didn't is, we'll never know, but it doesn't matter because the fact that he even said that and graciously took it is Oops. one thing by itself. Yeah, they're hard to... Yeah. It their heads are so big that they always fall down like dominoes. Mm -hmm. They do. And when one falls, that's it. A lot of people collect these and leave them in the boxes and never take them out. Well, we kept the boxes, we but kept the boxes we here. have them out on display. And if, if for whatever reason, we should ever want to sell them, we have the boxes. We have to import Cedric. Yeah. Was he a Hot Topic exclusive? <sighs> I think so, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's all of these. Some of these we got a fan expo from Playing Collect. Right, right Yeah, now? that's that's that new store that we discovered, yeah. Yeah. They were the first ones, first store in Ontario to get the Wave 4, and we got the whole collection from them. Yeah. Except for the exclusives, which we can't get from them. Yeah, because they're all exclusive to the U.S. Yeah. It looks just as ugly in a pop-up vinyl as... <laughs> he does in the movie. You know, you keep getting in the way and I keep having to move the camera up and down. Oh, well, I'm trying to do this. So that, oh, did you show, you show those? Yeah. All I'm getting is your arm because you keep getting in the way. <laughs> okay. Well, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so... Um, yeah, we showed all the Harrys on, on the second shelf, so now we need to show the... The mystery minis 
and we have um, all of the regular Series 2 Mystery Minis. Which we also got from Plain Collect. But we're in the process of getting the exclusives. We have, we have some of the exclusives, right? Yes, we do. Yeah. Now, funny thing is, is that Plain Collect had them first before all the major stores got them. Yes. When I was at Comic-Con, I didn't even know there was a Wave 4. And then I saw a big sign. And I said, I want them all. Except they didn't have them all at that time. But yeah. we got them all now. All okay, because of so, that one store. So there's the, the w Series 1 Mystery Minis. And here's the Series 2 Mystery Minis Which with all the sorting out. hats. So this is all of the regular... Um, Series two. Series two, and we're just trying to get the exclusives now. From like Hot Topic. Yeah, they're something. all in the mail. Yeah, yeah. They're all in the mail coming. Okay, so there. I also want to show. I've got playing cards back there. Here, you take Which the. We also got from you take Expo. This. Okay, so we have um, Harry Potter playing cards. This is, this is the uh, four houses in one box. These ones here are one for each movie, and all of the um, all of the cards have the same back. They all look the same as what you see on the outside box, but they look really cool. You know, you get uh, your characters on the uh, the cards themselves. So we have we don't have one for every movie, but we have most of them. Now, one of them says Sorcerer's Stone. Well, here in Canada, it's called Philosopher's That's Stone. That's true. Whoops. There. Ten, nine, eight, seven, I love that guy. Six, five, four, <laughs> three, three and a half, two, one and three quarters. Yes! <laughs> I love him from the night bus. <laughs> Here's Harry's glasses. Where do we get Harry's glasses from? Oh, uh, the Comic Con. No, oh, Fan, Fan Expo. Expo. Oh, sorry, Fan Expo. Here's a, a Hedwig necklace. And what else do we have? We have a, a scarf. A, Gryffindor. A Gryffindor scarf. Um, this this I like. It's the um, Quidditch balls. Let's see if I can get this out of here without causing an avalanche. So this this is the Quidditch balls. You can actually open it. The snitch is up in here. This can, this actually comes off, but I like to leave it on. So there's the um, the quaffle and the two bludgers. And there's a key here in this little to uh, to lock the box up, but I've never never taken it Does out. Does the snitch come out? I don't think so. Oh. It's, no, it's glued on. I'm pretty sure it's stuck in there. Okay. But the bludgers, well, the bludgers no. and the quaffle you can take yeah, out. No. Oh, okay. Thanks. There, got it. Okay. What's, yeah, all the balls come out except for the snitch. And I just burped. Yes, I heard you. Down I also here. have... First, here's another snitch. That one opens up, doesn't it? Um, sure it does. I like that the wings move on it. Oh, it's it's only half of one, oh, okay. so I don't think I don't think it opens up. And these are chocolate frog cards. Uh, 3D holograms. Yeah, they're holograms. I don't know if if you can tell that yeah, on, tell the, on bit, the video. Yeah. Yeah. Gilderoy. I don't Lockhart have a com one of them. yeah. I don't have a complete set yet, but I'm getting there. Gilderoy Lockhart, Order of Merlin, <laughs> third class. Why did we keep this box here? Because it said Barnes and Noble. Oh, because um, McGonagall is in it. Oh, an extra McGonagall. Yeah, an extra McGonagall. Okay. So if you want an extra McGonagall, let us know. Okay. It's the mystery mini. Yeah, McGonagall mystery mini. So down here, besides. No, no, no that's from the Queen. Oh, sorry, wrong. <laughs> okay, so that's from London, England, but that's that's gold plated. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, spoons, but that's from uh, Queen these, Elizabeth's Buckingham Palace. What are these kind called? They're made by Funko as well. I forget what they're called. What are they called? Rock called? candy. Rock, rock candy. candy. Rock candy. Got it. 
and the train. Oh, actually, you can't see it too well because this is open. Which that's okay. I, I can see it. Yeah. There's the trains. They came out uh, what last year, I think. Uh, at least. Yeah. And, and I'm gonna sneeze. Bellatrix. Now Bellatrix is standing here because this is the dagger. dagger that she threw to, to kill Dobby with. We got this from the Universal Studios in Florida. I believe it's a Noble Collection. And they actually let us take it in our luggage. Imagine that. Yep, they didn't. I was uh, very surprised. So you're going to have to tell them the story about... Uh... I will when we get there. Yeah. Let's put this back okay, in. So this is... This was... Um, Here, can uh, you grab this and fill? Grab this was an authentic chocolate frog box that I got from Universal Studios and... It comes with a better holographic card, Godric Gryffindor. Of Godric Gryffindor. Yeah, so, and this was one big frog. It, I thought it would be several frogs inside. It was just one big one. Okay, so over here is the Magical Beast collection from, from, the, from the Noble Collection. So we've got the hung, Ukrainian, Ukrainian Iron, Iron Belly, Belly Hungarian, Hungarian Horntail, Horntail Dobby, Dementor. Okay, let's go down below. Ugh. What's that? Gringotts Goblin, Basilisk, Buckbeak, Fox, Nagini, and Hedwig. And these are these are pens, aren't they, Gord? Yes. Yeah. This one is Hufflepuff. Those are gold players. It's too. got the it's got the badger on it. Really? Yeah, those are gold oh, players. Okay. I got so, those from uh, in London, England. That's the Hufflepuff the one. Studio tour gift shop. And this and is and that's Gryffindor. the Gryffindor one. And I just want to point out that there are four of us in this family. Two of us have been sorted into Hufflepuff, and two of us have been sorted into Gryffindor. That's why we have Hufflepuff and Gryffindor. That's right. And not all four houses. Yeah. Okay, over here, these are actually socks, Harry Potter socks, which I found interesting. Now this, you can't see it very well, but it's but the... But it's the Marauder's Map. Right, so when you put hot liquid in it, the map shows up on the... I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. That's right. This, and it says Mischief Managed right here. But mischief Managed. Well. Yeah. Okay, so this is the Hor Horcrux ring. Right, and who's it from? Slytherin. Yep. Right? So that's, this comes off. It's pretty neat. Now this this is the, um, the basculus tooth going through Tom Riddle's diary. Now this is an interesting story because I had this packed in my luggage in the box that I bought it in. And... When they scanned it, um, I, I wasn't there at the time, uh, but when they scanned it, they must have seen this tooth, and they thought... It was a tooth of an extinct species. Well, not necessarily extinct, but certainly a, maybe an endangered species. So they opened up my luggage to check it, and they put a, they put a little note inside that they had to uh, check it. But, yeah, I was allowed to bring it home. They and then, and sure. then they said... They were probably like, oh, it's just a prop. Yep. Now this... Oh. Oh, oh sorry. Yeah, sorry, the bus. This is the double-decker bus that you would go on to the studio tour. Yep. If you get in close, you can see it says Harry Potter on it. Yep. Book your day and time now. WarnerBrothersStudioTour.co.uk, which, which is a real website where you can buy your tickets. And this was, was actually this? you don't have a choice. You have to buy it. Yeah. Online. You, you, you can't just show up if you don't. Buy oh, it, that's just the collector card. Yeah, I didn't realize it's there. Saying, was saying there. that's a uh, it's a uh, a limited a limited edition. Okay, so go down here. We have the Fantastic Beasts Pop Vinyls. I like this one because. Demi guys. He's the invisible demi guys. Which was an exclusive. Yep. And this is a we just recently got this one. It's the um 
the yeah. flocked niffler. Which we just got today, actually. Yeah. The flocked niffler. I've actually never got to feel it. Touch it. It's flocked. Wow. Okay. Whoa. whoa, whoa, careful. Almost dropping the camera. Okay. Wow, feels a lot different. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Looks more realistic, yeah. actually. Whoa. Here's That's the, Newt's case. Newt Scamander's case. No, it's a lot different compared to the movie because it has that symbol on there. Now, it doesn't have anything special inside. Just a, um, a strap that you could carry it with. And there's nothing in these compartments here. I already checked. It's just empty. There's nothing there, but it's cool. Got that. It's a nine and three quarter shop in uh, in London, England. Yep, in in the real King's Cross Station. In the real King's Cross Station, they have a, a store nine and three quarters, right connected to the real King's Cross Station. Yep, and we went on, we went in there, I and it was part. Of it was part of the Harry Potter private taxi there tour. We Yes, we had a, a private taxi tour. It cost 500 Canadian dollars. Oh, this. Oh, I forgot about this. And it, it took us to all the different spots where film the actual films, in filming London. locations in London. Okay, now, in this London. is an original gun that was, when, where did you say it was? From the year 2000. From the year 2000. Yeah. So it came out just when, um, when the movies were starting to come out. Yeah. On the back, it shows the collection. The only other one I've ever seen is Fluffy, but they wanted too much I've money for Hagrid it. I've seen Hagrid and Scabbers yeah, and Baby to... Norbert, but I haven't seen Hedwig. Well, where have you seen it? Where did you see eBay. these? Oh, oh, eBay. No, but it, they had the store where we got this. They also had Fluffy, but they wanted a lot of money for them. And I so we just got Harry. Yeah. Yeah. It's from the year 2000. It's and, never been opened either. It's still sealed. Yeah, Fluffy wasn't in a box or anything, so. Yeah, it's still Some sealed. Some people just take the original it out of seal. box. Yeah. The original seal is still on it. Yeah. Didn't you we say, got that at the Fan Expo. Didn't you say it said it was manufactured in England? Uh, I already showed it on the video, but um, oh, okay. I don't remember. Okay, I thought, I thought you said it, it had been, but I could be wrong. Uh, distributed. In the USA. Oh no, sorry, distributed. Yeah, in England, yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. So the English made <clears throat> this, the, or the British made it. Well, it's distributed by them. I, I don't know if it's necessarily made yeah, by them, but. I don't know. It was yeah. just uh, interesting anyway. So it might have come all the way from England yeah. at some point. Um, I think that's it for there. Yeah, now, so let's show the. Uh, of course, this is, this is our okay. collection. Can you bring it out, Colin? Yes. We're not going to show a lot of, of it because we have another complete video of it. From 2012. From 2012 which is also on our channel. And my voice was really high pitched. <laughs> Your voice is still high pitched. Yes. Not as high, but not it's not as, as high, high anymore. But Let's just open it up quickly just to show you turn it. towards me. Oh, sorry. God, this is a chapter's indigo. Yep. Whoops. So there's all kinds of drawers. Um, the movies are all in these little books. Just there's, like trunk, just yeah. like trunk sandwich. Did. Just open up one so that you get the uh, the DVD, the Blu-ray, and there's all kinds of special features as well as creating the world of Harry Potter discs, which there's, are also they're also yeah. in the Ultimate Edition. Yeah. So so I'm not going to go through this in detail because we've already done a, a video just. For this. Yeah, so just see our video from 2012. Yeah, it's right I on our channel. Yeah, I just wanted to, you know, because yeah. it's, it's something so that... So we paid $350 for it, and now they're selling them for anywhere from $800 to $1,200 Canadian. And one of our online. discs... Online, it's crazy. Two, yeah. Two. And one of our discs in there was defective. Two, two of them were. Yeah, two of them. Yeah, two of the discs were defective, and it kept freezing. So we, we called a special magic number. Two. Well, it's not so much magic, but... <laughs> right, Kunya? Right, we called Warner Brothers and <clears throat> gave us... Okay, so let's go upstairs. I have to go upstairs to see the rest of the collection. Oh. You see, I, I have to get the book. Okay. Anyway, let's go upstairs. Uh, let's quickly show your second set of...
That one and that one were Barnes & Noble. Hmm. Exclusives. Exclusives. Do you have any other? Oh, yeah. I almost forgot this. Flushies. They're trying to make Voldemort look cute there. Yeah. Now, these ones are also made by uh, Funko. Yeah, yeah. These, these ones are not made by Von Funko. These ones are. Yeah, they were, they're new releases. Yeah, these ones were... Did you keep the tags on these ones? Moving it around. No, I moved it slower earlier. Yeah, these are... Uh, T-Arts. T-Arts. Yeah. Huckleberry Toys, yeah. Beans Collection. Beans Collection, yeah. These came out a while ago, too. But these came out recently by Funko, yeah. Except for the Smurf. <laughs> no. <laughs> Except for the Smurf. Wrong, wrong series. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, we didn't get the full set for these ones, though. Yeah, were, we're missing one. Yeah, which one are we missing? You remember? Malfoy. They're, Malfoy. They're really hard to get. Huh. Well, these ones were too. We had to go to three different stores to get the whole set for but these ones. But you do have the, that first wave of those, though. You were able to get them all. You just had to go to a few stores. Yeah. Okay. No, no. Oh, sorry. Sorry for that. So you get a little mini tour of our house at the same time. <laughs> um, now, does he, does he have anything in here? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because you have some big plushies, right? Yep. Uh, Buckbeak. Buckbeak. From Universal. Now, oh, these two okay. I got from the studio tour. The Hungarian Horntail and the Welsh Green. Don't you also have the Monster Book of Monsters? Yeah, but that's in Connor's room. Oh, and what about Fluffy? You have Fluffy, too, somewhere. Yeah, don't he's you? also in there, too. In Connor's room? Yeah. Oh, okay. I hate Buckbeak. You oh, stop. It would have been better if he had his head chopped off. Oh, stop. That's not funny. Instead of the pumpkin. Wait, Dad, I also have Aragog. Yeah, where's Aragog? Is this... That's not Aragog. That's a Minecraft spider. Where's Aragog? I think he's in here. I don't think so. No. 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 I think he's in Connor's room. Anyways, let's finish in your... In our... Anyways, we have some other plushies around here. Let's go this way. Now this is cool because it's a puppet. And it can turn its head. We also got it from Universal. And it also... Where'd... Where's Universal? There it is. In Florida. <coughs> so I think that's cool. Oh, Hedwig, shut up! <laughs> you make too much noise. Yes, you gave one last little squeak. <laughs> then we have two foxes. And now this guy is different because he's kind of rubbery. And do yeah, this Dobby, Dobby. Yeah, he's very rubbery. Yeah. Don't I have a plush Dobby as well? You do. You do have a plush Dobby. Where? He this one a, looks really realistic. Ha Colin has a plush Dobby, but I don't know where it is. And, oh, it's downstairs, along with my plush Niffler. Yeah. Oh yeah, you bring your Niffler go too. Go bring those up. Go get them, Colin. Because okay. I totally forgot about them. There you go. We have Harry Potter stuff all over the place. We have to show the posters in the basement too, don't forget. Posters? That you got at the Salvation Army. The oh, yeah. As well as Dobby the, the house elf. As well as the puzzles I did, which are also in the basement. Okay, so over here I have books. We have the anniversary release of the... Philosopher's Stone in the colors of each house um, and the, the edges of the pages are also the colors of each house. So that's pretty cool. Whoops, I'm going to get it back in now because of my... But they're all like that, so that's the Hufflepuff. This is the um, unofficial Harry Potter cookbook. It actually has real recipes in it, although I haven't tried any. Um, down here we have the two um, illustrated books so far. The Prisoner of Az Azkaban is coming out next month, I believe. Yeah, in October, yeah. Yeah, so there's um, Philosopher's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, 
This is the official guide from the tour in England. So, so it's it's really really cool. It's got some really nice pictures in it of the tour. I brought okay. them up. Okay. There. Here's Plush Dobby from uh, a nine and three quarter shop. In Dobby King the house elf. In <laughs> King's Cross Station. Dobby had to iron his hands, sir. <laughs> what are some of the other lines? And also, the Niffler holding a purse. Now this Niffler is really cute. We got him from London, England as well. Also in the... The nine and three quarters... Uh, store. Store. Right next to the real platform. <clears> nine and three quarters. They made him really, really cute here, even though he's an annoying pest. He's cute. Does everything, movie. takes everything mean? shiny. Cute. It's very cute. And when he when he goes, uh, what's that spell that he uses to to bring Accio. him? Oh, Accio, yeah. And then a bunch of jewelry mm. comes out of his pouch. Happy. she's <laughs> like, what is that? <laughs> All right. Okay. So. And then the last more, book. We got more books. We didn't do these ones. So these are. This is the character vault. Yep. Which goes through all the characters in the movies. Including Sam What an Ray. ugly guy. <clears throat> That's stuff. Then there's the artifact vault. I don't there's a series of vault books. I don't have them all. Um, this is the various props and things that were used in the movies. It's very glossy paper. Yeah. There's always trying to get his hands on something shiny. This here um, is both these the are all hardcover, right? Yep, yep. These are all hardcover books. This is both Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts. Right, and again, it's got some really cool things in it from the, the different uh, movies. Part one is Fantastic Beasts and part two is Harry Potter. Yeah, it's got some really cool stuff in it that you can pull out and look at. Much like the Harry Potter film Wizardry book. This here is, is a really neat book. Whoops. More hardcover. Um, the Case of Beasts from the Fantastic Beasts. This it stays closed with uh, a magnet. What's so fantastic really cool. about the beast? We'll stop. <laughs> it's got all kinds of information in it, different artifacts. I, I hate it, Tina, card. the worst. A lot of behind the scenes Senator stuff. Shaw, next president of the United yeah. States. A lot of behind the scenes stuff. And well, Senator um, of New York. Before he got murdered. Then I have, this is, this is a Creedence. really big book, but it's really, really, really cool. It's super it's heavy. It's a complete filmmaking journey of the Harry Potter movies, and it covers so many different things. They talk about um, how it all began, how they chose the um, locations, the locations, the get off my foot, the <laughs> the actors, um, lots of different things. Um, they weren't really actors; they were just uh, CGI. Oh, stop it! Oh, stop. Um, all the all way kinds of up to just the yeah, and it goes through every movie. It talks about every movie, but it talks about all the different characters. There's some really cool Death Eater masks in here, which I really like. This is really cool because um, you don't get a good look at the masks in the movies, and it's amazing all of the artwork that went into making them for you to only see them for a couple of minutes on screen. So that's pretty amazing. And then there's the locations. There's all kinds of interesting things in here. These are the. Um, it's a pretty thick book. Yeah, it's so I don't have any place to put it, so it just lays on my night table. I have all of the Harry Potter books that I've read what seven times now, the complete set. I also have. You only read the book seven times. Yeah, something like that. I have two coloring books. I, and I why aren't you coloring them? I don't, well, because you're I don't gonna, want you're going to lose them. grades on. And I color. also have several versions of Fantastic Beasts. This one yeah. came out in the spring, but there's a new one coming out again. An illustrated copy is coming out soon, so I got to get that, of course. And Eddie Redmayne did the audiobook version of that. Did he? Yeah. Oh yeah, right. He would, wouldn't he? That's um, the original screenplay. Here's J.K. Rowling. Here's the screenplay for Fantastic Beasts. Is it Rowling or Rolling? Rolling, like bowling. I saw her. She said that one time in one. What does the JK stand for? Uh, Joanne. I forget the K. Um, Tell us in the comments what the K means. We forgot. Yeah. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, parts one and two. Yeah. 
the book yep. version. And we're going to go see that in New York and City soon. Then I have yep. all of the all of the Harry Potter books in hardcover in various forms. And we did see the um, the concert for uh, yep, the, the concert. Philosopher's Stone, not the Sorcerer's Stone, the As Philosopher's America, Stone. Right, and we're going to see and we're going to see Chamber, Chamber of Secrets, Secrets concert. What are they call just concert, right? Yeah. No, in concert. In concert, yeah. We're oh, going to see that uh, next this. month. In That's October. the Hogwarts Library. So it's the three tales of Beetle the Bard, Quidditch through the ages, and another Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. I wanted this one because it's a complete set. Gotta have the set, right? I'd have liked the set. Hmm. Who said that? Are these uh, bears have anything to do no. with Harry Potter? No Harry Potter or anything. I know I bought them over yes. over the past 20 years for you, but... Yeah, but again, it's got nothing to do with Harry Potter, but we need to show the stuff in the basement. Okay. These things in the basement. Stuff in the basement? Yes. By the way, the that puzzles my... I made, as well yes. as the two posters you found at the Salvation Army store. Yeah. Because By the way, my... Uh, my phone said it has to go to a different file to continue this. Are you serious? Yeah, because we're at uh, 36 minutes. Okay, well, I can splice them. It might keep it as one, but I'm not sure. These are the original posters. They used to have stickers on them with like Harry Potter. Yeah, well, somebody put those on after the fact. Not on the posters themselves, just on the on the, on the outside of the frame, yeah. So these were the actual posters. They're, they're the original posters that uh, came out when these books came out way back in... Uh, uh, I forgot the year. Now the funny thing is, these posters were made by Raincoast Books, which are actually still around. Yeah, Raincoast Books, which I believe is the Canadian um, version. Version. Of Barnes and Noble. Here's the puzzles I did. You know what? This straightened out. So did this it? is a puzzle that I did, and then I glued it with puzzle glue onto um, white. What kind of board is this? I think. Like a foam, foam, foam board. Foam, foam board. Foam board. Yeah. To keep it um, from curling and keep it solid so it wouldn't, you know, fall apart accidentally. This is a foam puzzle. And the only thing keeping it together is that it's foam, so it just squishes together, which was quite interesting. And that's the puzzle of the Great Hall. And that's the puzzle of the Great Hall. Again, I, I glued it with puzzle glue and put mounted it on foam board. So that's really cool. And we saw that in the studio tour, of course, without the candles. Yeah, yeah because that was all CGI. You kind of walked past the uh, posters on the wall as we came downstairs, too. Oh, yeah. Let's take a look. Yeah. I think so. No. No? There's still some stuff in the family room. There is? Yeah. What's in the family room? That. Oh, okay. What else? And... Mommy hasn't put that together yet. The, the official soundtrack for Fantastic Beasts. Open it. The deluxe edition, which has two discs instead of one. First disc has the regular tracks, and disc two has the bonus tracks. Which well, we you just can re recently only... got the uh, steelbook version of this one too, right? Can you show? Yeah, that? from Best Buy. Yeah, can you show that, please? Um, here, here it is. Yeah, I showed that already. Oh, did you? Oh, four K okay. edition. The 4K edition, because we have finally a 4K TV. Yep. After uh, getting the best deal. Open it up. From uh, Black Friday. Open it. Open it. And the background is the Niffler. That Niffler is so ugly. Stop. You know he's so cute. This disc, this disc is the 4K disc, mm -hmm. and that disc is the regular Blu-ray disc. Okay. 
Is that it? I think that's it, I right? I think that's it. Okay. No, one more. Oh, wait, no. Actually, two more. Well, he, he, he still never showed his monster book of monsters and uh, fluffy. Oh, well, that's, that's in uh, Connor's uh, room. We got stuff spread out all over the house. Didn't even realize. The that. other version of Fantastic Beasts, the Walmart edition. Oh, with the coloring book, yeah. Yeah. That's another exclusive. Yeah. A Walmart exclusive. A little mini coloring book. Yeah, it's the Blu-ray with the uh, mini coloring book. Yep. Let me put this there back in. Yeah. Why are you carrying Dobby around? Oh, Dad, and also the gift set for Devil Mouse Part 2. The one with the Hogwarts symbol. That's it. Oh, right. I forgot about that. Is it over there? Right here. Well, there it is. We got this back in 2011. When Deadly House Part 2 first came out on Blu-ray. That, is that, is that, that almost looks like a Christmas ornament. It says Hogwarts ornament, so... Yeah. yeah. It's from the Noble Collection. Turn it over, please. Yeah. This is rare now. Rare. I've not seen it on eBay and Amazon. Here we have the Harry Potter wizard chess set. This is the box that it came in. Whoops. It's uh, from the Noble Collection. And here's the set. So here's the... Whoops. Sure. Just made a mess. There. I'll just bring out, or just uh, get a close up of the pieces. They look very much like the 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 chess set from the Chamber of Secrets. No, it wasn't Chamber of Secrets. Sorry, it was the Philosopher's Stone. Okay, so that's the chess set. Also, two other things. Um, here was a bottle of pumpkin juice. We bought it, um, both this one and the butter beer uh, from Universal Studios in Florida. I didn't really care for the taste of either, but I wanted to try them and keep the, uh, the mug and the bottle for my collection. From Harry Potter and, and well, the Philosopher's Stone, but this is a this is American, so it says Sorcerer's Stone. But we went to see it in concert with the uh, Toronto Symphony Orchestra. It's a really amazing experience. We're going to be going to see the Chamber of Secrets in I think two weeks. Yeah. Um, so this and we is, have some signed uh, posters from yeah, the conductor. Yeah, we, we uh, bought tickets for a meet and greet with the um, conductor before the show. It was really interesting, the things he had to say about it. Yeah, he signed some posters for us. Yeah, and we each got a signed poster as well. He just died, unfortunately. Unfortunately, uh, several now, actors. Yeah, including Snape, unfortunately. And also um, the Dursley. Yeah, Uncle Dursley. Uncle Dursley, yeah. Yeah, so there's a conductor. We met him yes. in person. I got him, uh, he signed yeah, some Justin posters. Justin Freer. Yeah. He's, he was, yeah, he was very nice. He told us a yeah, lot of nice interesting information about conducting for these movies and how how it's, it's actually really hard to do because they have to do it, like they can't be behind the movie, you know, it's important that they are right. Thanks. You oh, just... sorry. <laughs> it's important that they um, are right in line with the movie, he was saying, and, and sometimes that's really, really um, hard thing to do, but they did an amazing job. So that's uh, that's from the Harry Potter in concert. Um, the monster book of monsters. I don't recall where it is. 
We're at uh, 41 minutes. I don't know if anybody's still around watching us do this. If you've if you survived this long, you should get a special prize from us. Right, Dobby? Hello. Hello. Where is he in here? Or is he on the bottom shelf? Um, I think he's on the bottom shelf. No, he's not in there. I think he is at the bottom shelf. Yeah. <laughs> There's the Monster Book of Monsters. So we got him in Universal in Florida. Is Fluffy in there too? And I think Fluffy uh, was downstairs and I put him in the... This is the Monster bin. Book of Monsters. I think he's up here. No, I don't think so. Dad said he thinks Can he's Can you pull his tongue too, please? What happens when you pull his tongue? No, here it is. Oh, it is there. Okay. should keep him with the, with the Monster Book of Monsters. Well, he is kind of, sort of. This looks like so this the fluffy, fluffy that was in... This almost looked like that same fluffy that... That was in the gun set? Yeah. It's a lot smaller. It's not the same though. Because it's it's not as old. No. Okay. All right. There we go. Now I think we're done. Are we done, Colin? Yep. No. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. So that's our collection. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Yeah. I'm happy that you survived 43 minutes of our craziness. Hopefully you weren't too bored. Leave us a comment and like. And uh, tell us what you think of all our collection and what we should get next. Yep. We are, we're obviously crazy. I want more crazy. horcruxes. I wanna, I'm trying to collect horcruxes. Horcruxes. So I have two. So let us know Nagini what we missed that you think we three. should get. Nagini. Right, Mocha? The diary and the ring. Right, but I need the cup. Yeah. I need the diadem. Okay, so we'll see you next time. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Yeah. Subscribe for uh, another video coming and up soon. And also the Harry Potter shirt. Hmm? We have lots of Harry Potter clothes. Oh yeah, we got tons of Harry. We got that in England, actually. Undesirable number one. Harry Potter. Yeah, we got that in England, too. 10,000 gallons on his head. 10,000 gallons on his head. Yeah. All right. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.